Hi, everyone at .NET Comp. I always love when I get the chance to talk to some of our students from across the world and see what some of the projects they're building with .NET are. And this particular student is actually one of our Microsoft student ambassadors, and he's coming all the way over from Russia. So Anton, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit to the folks that are watching? Hello, my name is Anton Kislyakov, and I'm from Russia. I study at the Russian Technological University in Myra in the field of software engineering. I would like to tell you a little about my .NET project. So the goal of the project was to create a plugin manager for the Cakewalk environment. The Cakewalk program is a digital audio workstation which combines the functions of multi-channel recording, editing audio, and MIDI tracks, and so on. Plugins implemented the functions of synthesizing and processing sound. One of the features demanded by users of the Cakewalk environment is the creation of a custom menu, list of plugins, with the ability to add plugins in any order and sort them into folders. My development expands the functionality of the plugin manager built into the Cakewalk environment and simplifies the work with the menu construction. The development allows the user to create a customized list of plugins. Um, the Windows registry stores the information of each plugin and technical information about all plugins installed in the system. Each installed plugin corresponds to a registry branch containing information about it. A uh, list of plugins is based on data from the registry. Uh, in the developed program, there is a sorting uh, of the list of the plugins by alphabet, manufacturer, and type. The menu is built in a tree format. It is a PGL file that is similar to the XML format. The user can add an unlimited number of folders, plugins, and separate it to the menu. After saving the menu to PGL format, you can open it in the Cakewalk environment and work with plugins there. Uh, the program was developed in the C -sharp language uh, using .NET Framework uh, 461. The program is a Windows presentation foundation application for Windows. Uh, during the work, the Microsoft Visual Studio um, development environment was used. .NET Platform was chosen because it is a documented, constantly updated, and convenient platform with easy and adapted access to Windows resources. Great. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Anton. And so also, just to recap really quickly, you built that using C Sharp, you used um, WPF, Right, so Windows Presentation Foundation. Yes. And, and and obviously this runs on Windows, right? Because you're using .NET Framework to actually build this. And the main reason you built this is because the built-in plugin experience inside of Cakewalk did not have some features that you wanted. So instead you decided to go build your own application and your own project that kind of gave you the functionality that you really wanted to use. Is that correct? Yes. Great. So this is a really great project for you to share. And so thank you again so much for sharing that with us. And if folks want to go ahead and take a look at it, we could always go to GitHub, right? Because you have a link on GitHub, a repository on GitHub that people could go and look at it. Yes, of course. Great. All right, Anton, well, hey, thank you so much. Uh, I know it's probably late where you are, so I'm going to let you go back to bed. But thank you again for sharing your project with us. And thank all of you for watching. We hope you enjoy the rest of .NET Comp. And we hope you go and take a look at Anton's project. So take care.